Hello friends, I'm Dragonage. Welcome back to some more logic related things. Today I'm going to be doing some logic puzzles, but first I just really wanted to say thank you all so much for the absolutely positive reception on the Solving Every Paradox in 8 Minutes, which is totally not 8 minutes video. That thing got so many views in such a short amount of time, quite a bit of likes, so much, so many comments, and it just seemed super well received, which I was kind of worried about, honestly. I was worried that I, I would get like hate comments on it saying saying that I'm just being an idiot or junk like that but it seemed like people actually really liked it so thank you all so much for that um welcome to all the new people who subscribe because of that also I fixed the background removal for the camera so it didn't, so it's not glitching all over the place absolutely terrible so anyway today we're going to be using this website called Brainzilla I did a ton of these last year-ish or the end of 2022 and I found them super fun some of them I found also super easy which was really strange because when I was in school I was never able to do these very well at all I I sucked at these kinds of puzzles I may or may not have actually recorded some of those as well and if I have then I guess those will just be re-uploaded videos at some point you know for, for bragging rights to, to show how how smartical I am god so for anyone who doesn't know how, how these kinds of puzzles work, they're, they're logical logic puzzles and they give you a bunch of different um, clues and whatnot here. All, all of these are the clues here and based on based upon the clues you're supposed to figure out who goes where, what shirt they're wearing, what their name is, movie they like, snack they enjoy, and their age and whatever. Some of these are given, like the 14 year old boy is at the third position. Uh, there is only four, right? Yeah, and so obviously we fill that in. And then what's really nice about this site too is they, it, it checks it off for you too. I really enjoy this. <laughs> the boy who's going to eat cookies is at one of the ends. So we know that he is either here or here, which means that obviously these two cannot be the ones who eat cookies. First position is wearing the green shirt. Joshua is also at one of the ends. And Joshua also enjoys horror movies. So Joshua and horror movies are at one of the ends. Daniel likes thriller movies, so we know that Daniel and thriller movies is one, either boy two or three. Go away, window security. And then we have ones like this here. Oh, at one of the ends is a boy who likes thriller movies. Okay, so thriller movies is at one of the ends. Someone is exactly to the left of someone who likes thriller movies, so that means that the thriller movie cannot be at this end because then no one can be to the left of him obviously so we put the thriller here then black shirt is directly left so that goes uh here and then daniel is one who likes thriller movies so he goes here which means that joshua is now here which means joshua also enjoys horror movies and if we have the boy wearing the red shirt is somewhere between the 13 year old boy and the one who likes action movies in that order that means that this one has to be the action which means this is obviously the comedy and then red shirt is right here which means this one is the only one left available which is blue and red shirt is between the 13 year old boy and action movies so that means 13 is here um crackers is exactly to the right of comedy so that is here nicholas is somewhere between joshua and daniel in that order so well i mean that's obvious they're both at one of the ends so they're gonna be here boy who likes cookies is at one of the ends now if the red shirt is somewhere between uh the boy who likes popcorn and nicholas in that order then that means this one has to be nicholas this is ryan this is popcorn this is cookies which means this is chips then we have black shirt somewhere to the left of the youngest boy so he is the youngest and then we have 12 years here congratulations you win four minutes 41 seconds and i was sitting on there for a little bit explaining it too so I may or may not go through every single one of these puzzles. I I did go through every single one of them at some point, but obviously that was like a, a year or so ago, and I do enjoy them. So maybe I'll go through these and make a couple of videos, go, uh, make, make kind of a series of videos going through these kinds of things. So we have the boy who has a skateboard lives in the second house, which means that is here. Surname Young lives at the first house. Easy, wait, what? Oh, surname, my bad. Name, surname, they're different, obviously. Jigsaw is at one of the ends as well. Uh, White House is next to the one who got a jigsaw puzzle. So it doesn't say directly left or directly right. So we don't know where that is quite yet. We just know that the White House will be either here or here. And Jigsaw is either here or here. I can also do this to make it a little bit easier to fill. Oh, but it doesn't show up. The King family lives at one of the ends. If Young is here at this end, then King has to be at this end. The Quinn kid got the skateboard, so that's there. 
Patrick is in the third house. White house is immediately to the right of the blue house, which means the white house cannot be here. Now, if the jigsaw is at one of the ends, and the white house is next to the one that got a jigsaw, and the white house is immediately to the right of the blue house, that means that the white house has to be here. This one will be the blue house. Uh, that means that this one got the jigsaw puzzle. Young boy got a science kit. Oh, well, but that can't be possible then, can it? Oh, you know what? It's possible that this one... Ah, this one could be the White House. That's right. No, because it's to the right of the Blue House. Oh, right. Okay, see, so th this is where it gets... Where you get trapped in, in your own head, in your own logic thinking, right? So we have up here, Young Boy Got a Science Kit. So that is there, obviously, which means that the uh, Jigsaw Puzzle would be over here, which means the robot would be the final one here. I should have done that first. Uh, robot is next is next to the one living in the pink house. Okay, now it just says White House is next to the one who got the jigsaw puzzle. Right, so it didn't say uh, to the right of, my bad, that's where my mistake was here. So this one will be the White House. Um, immediately to the right of the blue house means that this one is that. Robot is next to the pink house, which means that's that. Green is there. Um, now the only one left to go here is the Jackson family. If Ulysses is directly to the left of Wyatt, then this that means this has to be Ulysses, this is Wyatt, and this is Ian. There we go. Three minutes, 56 seconds. Fancy hotels. Ah, nice. So this is difficulty two, and we're all of a sudden bumping it up from four to five, and so many more freaking things here. So the easiest thing, and, and my first strategy is obviously to go through the ones that are given, and fill those in first, because then you can't make a mistake with those. So second position, hotel found in the 30s. Middle is owned by the German. First position is Paris, um, so that means French. Italian owns the fourth hotel. There we go. And now that we know that, uh, the Italian built his house, built his hotel, sorry, in the 50s. Ian works at the first. Uh, whoops. There we go. Calvin manages the fourth. The hotel managed by Calvin is somewhere between the blue hotel and the hotel managed by Derek in that order. Since there is no one else to go to the right side of Calvin, then that means that this has to be Derek. Their position is founded when the Great Depression started. 20s. I don't know history very well, <laughs> so that was a bit of a guess on my part. Now, for the White Hotel, we have the hotel owned by the American is somewhere between the hotel that has 250 rooms and the White Hotel in that order. The Royal Hotel is white. Uh, the White Hotel is next to the hotel founded in the 30s. This one is the 30s, but since the White Hotel comes second in the something is between it uh, something and the White Hotel, then this one cannot be the White Hotel, neither can this which means that this one has to be the White Hotel. There we go. Which means that this one has 250 rooms, and this one will be the American, which means this one is the British. Now, the White Hotel is also somewhere to the left of the smallest hotel, which means that it could be this one or this one. Roger manages the Red Hotel. Since there's only two people left here, and this one is a white, then this one has to be red, then that makes this Roger, and this guy is Wesley. Forgot to put this one as the Royal Hotel. There we go. And now the Royal Hotel is somewhere between the hotel owned by the French. Here we go. And the Mirage Hotel in that order. So one of these two is the Mirage Hotel. And now if Calvin is somewhere between the blue and the hotel managed by Derek, then that means this one has to be the blue hotel here. The Green Hotel is somewhere to the left. And this one is green. This one will be the 40s. This one will be the 10s. This one will be purple. And we are slowly filling them in. Now the Royal Hotel right here is somewhere between the hotel owned by the French, here we go, and the Mirage, okay, so we know that already. Green Hotel is somewhere to the left of the hotel that has 200 rooms. So this one has to have 200 rooms. And then uh, what was it? The biggest hotel is somewhere between Palace Hotel and the one that has 150 rooms. So the biggest hotel would have to be here or here. White Hotel is somewhere to the left of the smallest, which means the only one left is this one. And then if the biggest is between uh, Palace and 150, then this one has to be 150 and this one has to be 300, which means that this one has to be the Palace Hotel. The Seashore has 300 rooms, so that's there. Vortex is somewhere to the right of the green, so that's this one. This one is Mirage, and there we go, 701. Now this one, who owns a crocodile? This one seems to be apparently a featured puzzle, whatever that means. It's special somehow. Kind of wish this could go out of the way though. It will not, can't move it out of the way neither. 
You know what you can do, though? You can go F12. You can click on this. Then you can hit delete. No. You can click on this. Oops. You can click on this. You can hit delete. <laughs> and now it goes away. So now I can scroll up and we can have the title and everything else. So Lucy is the first on the left. So I'll put Lucy here. First person on the right, like swimming. First person on the right. First person on the right. Why not just call it the last person? See, this is so weird. Person left of middle wants to go to Tobago. Tobago. Person on left likes, likes Lilac. And the person who wants to go to Maldives likes Lilac. So, obviously there. Jessica is le left of Georgina. Oh, person with a hamster likes swimming. Okay, uh, hamster here. Skiing is next to the person who has a hamster. So I'll put that there. Skiing is next to the uh, girl who plays 10 pin bowlings. Bowling. The girl on the right of the girl who likes tennis likes horseback riding, which means that this one should be horseback riding and this one should be tennis. Now we have all the hobbies filled out. Now it makes logical sense based on the horse, horse riding here and the person who eats milky bars owns a horse. So it's most likely here. Wait, what? Oh, my bad, milky bars. Person in the middle e eats dairy milk. Hannah eats dairy milk. Okay, so Jessica is left of Georgina, which means that this is gonna be Jessica, this is Georgina, and then this would be Joe. Oh! See, we screwed that up, didn't we? Okay, so this could be Joe. It doesn't say that it's direct, that she's directly next to, right? Um, see, it's super helpful ha having a site like this that uh, that check marks and puts X's there if you're right, right and wrong and whatnot. Super helpful. <laughs> and, and, and that's probably why these puzzles now are easier for me and I like them more. Girl next to Milky Bars likes Boost, so that means Boost is here. The girl who likes Crunchies owns a rabbit since there's only one more spot where that where, where that can both fit. Uh, Crunchies is here and Rabbit is here, which means that this is Wisp of Bites, which means that this one is Joe. This one will be Georgina and this will be Jessica. Jessica wants to go to Australia though, so we screwed that up, didn't we? Hmm. Okay, so my assumption here about the horse, this is probably what's screwing me up here, isn't it? So this is still going to be Rabbit and Crunchies, but this is not Georgina. This is not Joe. Uh, this one will be Georgina. This one will be Jessica. This one is Joe. And then that one is not correct, which means that this one is also not correct. So Joe likes the wisp of bites. Then the person who eats milky bars. Hmm. Then the boost is not there. Okay, so we'll get rid of the crunchies and the rabbit here. Now, if Jessica wants to go to Australia, we can do that. Then the crunchies and the rabbit has to go here. Jessica likes green. The person who likes Wisp of Bites is next to the person who wants to go to Florida. So Florida's here. Means Canada does the final one over here. Uh, which means purple is over here. Pink is for Florida. Which means blue is the final one. Blue owns a puppy. Milky Bars owns a horse. Which means that that has to go here. Which means that's there. And then Crocodile is the final one here. Now we've technically figured out the uh, title here. What we're supposed to figure out. Boost goes there. Oh, that was it. There's literally one more freaking thing. 836. Sweet. Okay, maybe one more for this video. Ancient Civilizations. This one is a medium puzzle, so we get a little taste of what the medium puzzle is. And for those who don't know, the, the Einstein's riddle is in here as well. It'll be... Where is it? Oh, it's it's in here. So so the Einstein's riddle is apparently a medium one, which is was, was always supposed to be one of the most difficult ones ever, or the most difficult one or something along those lines, but then they have like very hard and whatever else. Oh, they have learn how to play ones as well. Maybe we'll do that too. Probably should have done that first. <laughs> okay, fourth position is strawberry. Strawberry is somewhere between art and apple juice, which means apple has to be here. Then art is one of these three. Green is apple juice. Uh, da, 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 da. Here. Fourth position is religion. One of the ends is Egyptian civilization, so that's here or here. Girl wearing black is somewhere between science and red shirt. And the girl wearing red shirt is somewhere to the left of the white shirt which means that the red shirt cannot go here. So the only place left for the black shirt to go between 
something on the red shirt. If the red shirt can't go here, it would be here. So this one will be the red shirt, and that would mean that this one is the white shirt, which means this one has to be the black shirt, and this one has to be the blue shirt. Ella is at the third position. The girl drinking cranberry is somewhere between the 13 year old and the girl drinking grapefruit. Again, the only place left for that to be is here. So this is grapefruit, which means this is cranberry. This is orange. I don't think that this one is actually a medium. Um, at one of the ends is science. At one of the ends is architecture. Subject and then civilization, right, okay. Youngest is at one of the ends. If this is 13, then this one has to be 10. Michaela is 10. 12 year old is exactly right of the 11 year old, which means 11 has to go to one of these two. 12 is one of these two. Second position is a girl who likes art. So that goes there and then that fulfills the strawberry one as well. Cranberry likes the Greek civilization. So here, Greek. Uh, science is over here, which means that one of the ends is architecture. So that's there. Then this one is economy. Now to the right of economy is Lily. Uh, Riley is next to uh, okay, actually here, Riley is exactly to the right of the girl that admires a Roman civilization, which means this one is the only one that can be Riley. This one is Julie, Julia. And this one is Roman civilization. 12 year old is next to the one interested in architecture. 12 is exactly to the right of the 11, which means this one is 14. Aztec is somewhere between girl interested in Roman and girl interested in Chinese. So that means that this one is um, Aztec, Chinese, Oh wait. Oh no, we have a we have a brokenness. At one of the ends is Egyptian. Ah, this one could be Chinese, this one could be Aztec. There we go. Far away. <laughs> See, I, that, that's why I don't think that this one is a medium one. That one felt super easy. That one should have been in one of the easy ones. Maybe one more and then we'll see if that's too much or not. Angel investors. Fifth position is internet. Oops. Fifth position is internet. Fourth is healthcare. First position is New York. 35 year old is somewhere between Adam and the investor interested in software. So this one has to be software. This one is 35 and this one is Adam. Blue ties interested in software, bam. Dave is exactly to the left of the 30 year old. So 30 is one of these two and Dave is one of these two. Now red is somewhere to the left of healthcare. So left of here, but also between 5 million and black tie. This is the only one that could be red. This one would be 5 million. This one would be 4 million because 4 million is at one of the ends. Oh no, okay. I accidentally hit the uh, back button, my bad. Thankfully it saves things. 3 million is in between the red tie and 2 million. So 2 million has to be here then, which means this one is 3 million, which means you are 1 million. Pierre is to the right of the blue tie. So one of these two is Pierre. Red tie is between the green and the youngest. Okay, or sorry, green tie. No, yeah, okay, yeah. Red tie is between the green and the youngest. So green has to be here, so he's between. Okay, red is Dave. This guy is the youngest. This one is, uh, oops, maybe he's not the youngest. 45 year old is exactly to the right of two million. So there we go. This one is not Dave, but Dave is exactly left of the 30 year old. There's something about the youngest. Matt is next to the 45. So Matt is here. 40 year old is next to the man wearing the purple tie. So that means you have to be 40. This is purple. This is black. Which means that you would have to be 30 and you are 50. The 30 year old fits this one here. The youngest man. Red ties between. Red is next to the investor who lives in Atlanta. So you are Atlanta. Dave is the blue guy. No. Yeah. Joel would be here and Pierre would be this guy because Pierre is right of the blue. Biotech is next to the Atlanta. Biotech here. Miami is next to uh, Clean Tech. Clean Tech is, can only go there, so Miami is here. And that's just uh, two more. So San Francisco is between something else. That's all we need to know. We don't even need to think about anything else. Three and nine. Okay, so I've done up to Angel Investors. Now, let me know if this is something that you want to continue seeing, and I will absolutely go through and do the rest of these. I do find them pretty fun. And again, the uh, website is Brainzilla if you want to go and buy these for yourself. Brainzilla.com. These ones are the zebra puzzles. They do have a lot more different kinds. Oh, I've never seen this. Kalkudoku. Looks like AI generated something magic here. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, because <laughs> there's no way that's a number. That's not a number. These are weird symbols. Many of these things are not numbers at all. Very strange. Okay, anyway. 
So very cool. Yeah, I, I really enjoy these things and maybe I will do more of these. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. God bless. Keep calm. Dry on. Welcome back to some more logic related things.